Howdy everyone and welcome to the Serial Geek TV YouTube channel. My name is James Etock and today I present to you something special. Back in 2003 to 2006, I was a co-producer on the UK He-Man and the Masters of the Universe DVDs produced by Contender and Cheerful Scout. For one of the special features, I conducted an interview with Filmation storyboard artist and writer Robert Lamb. Well over one and a half hours worth of footage was shot, but for the DVD I edited the interview down to roughly 40 minutes. A while back I mused that showing Rob's interview in all its glory with new accompanying visuals would be a rather wonderful addition to this channel. Fans of animation and the history of Filmation will love this given that Rob thoroughly enjoyed his time at Filmation and had much to say. This is the sixth part of the interview recorded back in 2004. Enjoy! After she ran He-Man, uh, Filmation did a couple more series, but um, got on some hard times. Uh, after that first season of He-Man, all the other studios jumped on the first run syndication bandwagon and flooded the market with all kinds of material. And uh, gradually, uh, we got to the point where we couldn't, uh, we had a year or two where we didn't sell anything. And our parent company, um, Group W, Westinghouse Broadcasting, uh, decided they didn't, you know, that we were too expensive to keep going. And sadly, rather than um, just lay off the bulk of the people and keep a small core group to develop other projects, they decided to sell the library to, um, to L'Oreal uh, for European distribution of 26 years of, of Filmation product and to close the, the studio down. And we were just shocked. 300 of us hit the street on one day. We got two hours notice. It was, it was very, very sad. And uh, at that point, I made a change and, and um, uh, left the animation industry and, and moved to Nashville, Tennessee and, had, and started a career here in video and advertising and uh, software development. And uh, uh, though I still kept in contact with, with people out west and did storyboards for Ruby Spears and uh, Disney TV animation, uh, Darkwing Duck uh, worked on, on that show and Worked on uh, the Cowboys of Moon Mesa for ABC and Widget the World Watcher. That was uh, for Calico uh, Creations. But then, after that was during the uh, early 90s, and after a while, uh, that kind of faded away. And I've been uh, working in uh, creating animation and, and uh, graphics for um, educational software and uh, corporate training and other things. I had stumbled across. He-Man and Shira fans, quite by accident. I I was uh, it's been it was in 1998. I uh, was kind of first getting on the internet and, and looking around, and I uh, did a search on filmation, thinking maybe I could get in touch with some of my old buddies. And I came across this He-Man and Shira episode review website. And I said, that's odd. Uh, and discovered this great shrine to the shows I, I had worked on. And they had, it wasn't just a few pictures and a few comments saying, I really liked the show when I was a kid. It was a very extensive, very uh, elaborate um, tribute to these shows. And it was by, uh, put together by uh, Zadok, Angel and Busta Tunes, known as James E. Talk. And I was looking through and I saw um, one of my shows, uh, Not So Blind, in, on their site. And I looked it up and they wrote this very long uh, review and critique of the show, pointing out all the flaws, praising all the good things they loved about it, and saying some very nice things about me. And I thought, wow, it was, it was, it was 
quite striking. I mean, this is something I did, well, at that time, about 15 years before, or 10 years before. And here, something I did way back then mattered to somebody now. And that was, that was quite a surprise. And I, I wrote a little email to them and just saying, thanks for the kind words. I enjoyed working on the show. I'm glad you liked it. And an email came back just all excited about uh, getting in contact with me and wanting to know all things about the show, a lot of things that I, I said here. And that began a uh, about a six-year relationship with uh, Zadok and especially James Etok in, in, in London of, uh, of just talking over things filmation and things He-Man and, and so on. And, and we've kind of struck up a friendship and I've sent them copies of scripts and storyboards and whatnot. And they've sent me uh, some material, uh, videotapes of episodes that I didn't have copies of. And, and it's, been a, uh, it's been a wonderful relationship. It's kind of, this is something that wasn't available when I was younger. If I, uh, the best you could do if, if you wanted to contact someone whose work you admired was to try and find a, a fan club address or a production company or a studio or something. And, send a letter, a fan letter there and hope that maybe the person would see it. And more, most likely they didn't. But with the internet and with email, you have the opportunity of, of contacting people that, act, that actually create the things that, that you enjoy. And that's, um, uh, that could be a, a book author, a, a, a singer, an actor, a filmmaker. Now, some of them don't answer their own emails now, certainly, but uh, for those of us who were on a much lower let echelons of, of, uh, of production, um, we don't have all those gates in front of us uh, to, to keep people out because we're frankly surprised that anybody took any notice. And that's what's um, made this rather interesting. In fact, the whole reason that I am participating in this is because of that relationship with James and that he's been uh, instrumental in working with the producers of, of uh, the Seaman DVD series. And he was after me to, to set up an interview. And here I am. I have been amazed to see what a, what a, a strong uh, affection there is in the fan community for He-Man and Shira. And I think it came as a surprise to Mattel but the end result has been uh, a brand new TV series. And I took a look at it and there were some things I liked about it. There's some things I didn't think worked as well. It was kind of a mixed bag, but it was good to see that the property is still alive. And that's neat. I guess the, the, the thing that, that sticks in my mind the most is, uh, always to do your very best job because you don't know who's looking at it and <laughs> when you might be held accountable for it at a later date. And it's been, it's been interesting. It's been interesting trying to remember back 20 years ago was what things were happening then. And I'm, I've left out more than I've included, but uh, I think this should do it. And I had the power back then May you have the power now.